Technology Thursdays with Dre and Smiley. Smiley, man, AI is everywhere. What's your uh, What are your latest thoughts on AI? AI is so amazing. It's 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 just I can. That's another. That's something where I can just spend hours and hours. It's just so many different kinds of AIs. I mean, we could speak about AI for the next ten days straight without any sleep. The AI is changing yeah. our world in such an exponential space. And and if you look at the engine behind AI, I believe it's NVIDIA. This is not stock advice, but with the GPU graphical processing uh, unit, it, it just makes it so AI can do what it does. And, and the way I define AI is you can interactively speak with a computer it's like I'm talking to you, Dre. It, it responds. It's intelligent. Mm-hmm. It reads. It it draws. It mm-hmm. takes my words. It makes pictures. It's just, it's amazing. I haven't seen anything like this ever. And I've been in technology mm-hmm. for 30 years. So I think it's going to revolutionize our whole existence. Mm. All right, let's say we had grandkids or someone who was born today, 2023. By 2020, 2050? Mm-hmm. These kids are going to be just, they're going to be like, uh, mm-hmm. if you're a Star Trek fan, they're going to be like the Borg. They're going to have cybergenics in their mind, and they're going to be one with the symbiotic relationship with the computer. That's what I predict. So what about you, Dre? I, I, I really hesitate to, to verbalize the questions I have about it because I watched a clip, I don't know, in the past few months of... Um, Bryant Gumbel and Katie Couric talking about email and all the questions they had, their mind was blown. And so that lives on forever in terms of, you know, their level of ignorance to what email is. But at, at that stage, no one knew what email was. It was new to everyone. I, I'm curious to see, you know, what this conversation that you and I were having will look like in a year, two years from now, in terms of like, wow, this AI, you, you know, how's it going to look, and what is it, what, what, what does it do exactly? It'll be interesting to see how it, how it, um, how it uh, um, sounds later. But I will say this: I'm impressed and amazed at all that it can do. Right. So I've I've read articles where it's used uh, by some in the medical field to assist with um, patient notes, to assist with diagnoses. Um, I've seen where it's been used um, by students to assist with uh, researching papers, unfortunately, in some cases, writing papers, though, you know, professors are aware of, you know, how it's been used and they have strategies and implemented to kind of catch these uh, students, try to get the AI to do the work for them. But it's amazing, man. You know, it's just, I was listening to the All In, All In podcast, which you introduced me to, and they were talking about AI, how it's advanced, um, and the many different ways it's being leveraged uh, successfully. Um, and and it's mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing. Like you were saying, Smiley, you know, I don't think we have the capacity today to fully appreciate all it's going to be involved in but you know look at look at how society works people have been using ai if you look at your autotype you could say that's basic ai i mean we've been like i'll I'll use an example people are like how are you going to have uh cars that vehicles that drive themselves how would that ever work Well, we've been introduced to that. Any airport you go to, those Mm -hmm. monorails, they don't have a conductor in them. There's no one driving the monorail. But there's a lot of things we're doing now that's moving us that doesn't have an uh, operator. And there's a lot of operator robot-like vehicles of transportation. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of auto corrections. If you look at Grammarly, if you use that in your webpage uh, for... That's a basic AI. Mm. There's AI everywhere, yeah. but it's very, very basic. But the AI that's coming now is, I could say Dre or AI, Chat mm. GPT. 
what would you think is the best opportunity for me to buy property in this zip code if you were a real estate expert and you had fifty thousand dollars it writes back within Mm. not even a second it just starts as soon as you say in this area period it starts coming back with a whole business case and a scenario of where you should do your buy your property and it's just it's just the internet on on steroids so what's one thing and maybe maybe you just shared that one thing but if that's not it tell me what it what it is what's one thing that AI could be used for to help simplify your life. I think if the AI could write a budget for my income versus my expenses and come up with a way where I can convince my family that we can't spend more that comes in. If AI can figure out that enigma, <laughs> the estrogen enigma, I think that's that's that would give me the that's all I need, estrogen enigma. <laughs> And I don't know if AI can do that yet. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it, but when it does, we'll be set. All right. Well, listen, everyone, I hope you have a great uh, remainder of the week, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.